They say the only thing a real cowboy needs is a good woman, a fast horse, and a strong truck. Not necessarily in that order. Well, I can't speak about your women because I haven't met them. Don't know about your horses because I haven't ridden them. But I can tell you this, there's a new truck in town. And that, my friends, is the brand new 2017 Honda Ridgeline. Whee! That's one mean hombre. It's newly redesigned. It is lighter, 20% stiffer structural rigidity. It's got better fuel efficiency now and more of that high tech I hear so much about. Let's uh, take a gander at it together, shall we? Now I realize some people don't consider the Ridgeline to be a true truck, but that don't bother me none, because quite frankly, I'm not a real cowboy. And I apologize to the real cowboys out there. But the Ridgeline is more truck-like than ever before. First introduced in 2006, now for the second generation, it has the new look of a true truck. Now some people will argue the Ridgeline's not a real truck because it is a front wheel drive vehicle with the available all wheel drive. And well, so what? I know it doesn't have the traditional body on chassis rugged structure that a lot of other midsize and full size trucks do. But that's not the audience this vehicle was built for. This was built more for the weekend warriors, the people that want to have a very comfortable sedan style interior and have a loading area that'll handle up to 1,584 pound payload. So the Ridgeline gives you a unitized body structure where the body and the chassis are sculpted together, which is lighter and yet extremely strong. Plus you have independent suspension on all four wheels for a much more comfortable ride. McPherson struts in front, multi-link in the rear. And what they've done this year is they've taken away those long side flares on the bed and it gives it much more of a truck-like appearance and your back quarter panels are bolted on there too but that's just where the fun begins back here now honda has made the truck bed longer and wider and you can actually carry the four by eight piece of plywood here should you so desire or it could be a four by eight laminated board could be a particle board could be four by eight, whatever board you want, but this will handle it. And with the two wheel drive vehicle, if you want to carry something in a trailer, you can trailer up to 3,500 pounds. And the all wheel drive system will carry up to 5,000 pounds. And the interior, this is so cool. Was that too quick for the cameraman? Sorry. The interior, sheet, molded composite material, SMC. It is super duper duper scratch resistant, handling a ton of abuse and still looking great for years to come. Now it is scratch resistant. It doesn't mean it'll never scratch, but it will feel terrible if it does. Now, should you like to tailgate once in a while, your traditional fold down tailgate works well. And it's got like, kind of like little chairs and seats for you, a place to put your drinks, sort of. But then, the beauty is, you can open it to the side to make it even easier to load items. And you have your secret trunk in a bed compartment. And that holds a lot of stuff. Yee, doggy! There's a lot of room in here. Woo! And it also is waterproof and has a little drain at the bottom too, should you decide to put all your ice and drinks back there. Or, um, I don't know, your caught fish. Who knows? Whatever you want, it'll stay there. And you have your emergency spare tire as well. But there's even more fun in store. 
Now the standard stereo system is a seven speaker, 225 watt system, including a subwoofer. But if you step up to the premium eight speaker, 540 watt system with the subwoofer, then you can really feel the sound in this machine. But not only inside the passenger compartment, but with the six audio activators, that they, the exciters they call them out here, that it turns the flatbed area, the sidewalls, into stereo speakers. So your, 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 your tailgate parties can be rocking out. Not only that, but you have a 400 watt, four plug power source right here. And what, what you can do is you can take your favorite turntable, plug it in, and then crank out some real tunes, baby. Oh, don't tell me you've never seen an album before. Actually, it doesn't work off of an album, but it is Bluetooth enabled. So you can control it from inside the cabin or you can control it straight off of your cell phone. But it's really cool. Now, as far as power is concerned, the Ridgeline gets the 3.5 liter, six cylinder, 24 valve, single overhead cam, direct injection, intelligent variable valve timing, electronic control engine with variable cylinder management, which will get you, surprise, 280 horsepower, 262 foot-pounds of torque. Now that's up 50 horsepower from the previous edition and up 15 more foot-pounds of torque. And of course it's, well, the same engine as the Honda Pilot. So the estimated fuel economy for the two-wheel drive is 19 miles per gallon around town, 26 on the highway for a combined of 22. But if you go with the all-wheel drive, those estimates drop by one mile per gallon. Now there really is ample room for three people in the back. And since there's no big hump for the transmission drive shaft or anything, you've got leg room for the middle passenger as well, which is great. You have tri-zone air conditioning, so they have their own ventilation back here. Cup holders in the door, of course, cup holders in the center console. But what Honda did was they also added the magic seats, just like the Honda Fit, where you just take this handle, open it up, now you've got tall mode for tall items. And with the 60-40 split folding seat, you can still carry passengers, but if you want them all the back seats up, you have room, as everybody says, for at least a bicycle, maybe two, without having to take the wheels off. Plus, there's additional storage area underneath the back seats. Now, the front end of the vehicle has the same bold look, similar to uh, the previous edition, but it's been uh, softened a little bit. The new Ridgeline looks more like a truck, but it seems to drive more like a family sedan. And that's a nice combination. This independent suspension really does a nice job soaking up the bumps. They've done a lot of work making this smoother, quieter, more comfortable, and yet more truck-like. It's advanced, it's enhanced. It's better all the way around. One of the nice things about the Ridgeline is you definitely feel you're sitting above the masses. Gives you excellent command of the road, great visibility all the way around, even in the back glass, which is nice. You have a six-speed automatic transmission. You also have uh, Honda's intelligent traction management with a normal mud, snow, and sand setting. Acceleration. <laughs> it's really good. That extra horsepower and torque definitely makes a difference. I'm always impressed when you can improve the horsepower and torque of a vehicle while still enhancing the fuel efficiency of it at the same time, especially on a vehicle this size. I think this would be fun tooling around in snow and you know, you have that extra security for the all wheel drive system. You have the front wheel drive bias primarily, but when you need it, it'll flip it to the back, you know, giving you that extra, you know, torque you need, when you need it, where you need it. Hey, there's a lumber yard. 
Well, little partner, we should just go down there and pick up some lumber, shouldn't we? Throw it in the back of the truck bed. Partner. <laughs> That's my best John Wayne, I'm sorry. As good as it gets. <laughs> Now the interior of the Ridgeline has a very simple and functional layout. You have your very large digital speedometer right above your 4.2 inch TFT screen, your analog tack, and of course your you know, coolant temperature, fuel gauge, things like that. Plus you have your information you can scroll through on your TFT screen, the thin film transistor screen. You have your air conditioning controls, which you can sync for the left and the right. Uh, for the passengers in the back, you have your rear setting here. You also have storage areas, little storage cubby area there, storage areas, storage areas on the side, your big stow and go center storage compartment, which you can hold, you know, some, you know, tablets or whatever else you want to put down there. And if that's not enough cargo space, you even have an additional 7.3 cubic feet of cargo space in the hidden trunk back in the truck bed. And that also has areas to put dividers in there to hold your items securely or bag holders as well as a lock. And the steering wheel is laid out quite functionally. You have your volume control and source function buttons, your cruise control buttons, and of course your uh, Bluetooth connectivity and voice command as well as uh, the information control for the TFT screen. And your five inch screen for the base models well, we'll give you your stereo readouts, things like that. But when you step up to the tech packages, then you'll get the eight inch screen, which is touch screen, of course, with navigation and all sorts of cool connectivity. Uh, you have your uh, Android Auto and your Apple CarPlay available. And you'll be able to control the stereo in the back. In the bed, truck bed. <laughs> and I know some people think that having a stereo in the truck bed may be a novelty, but for other people, you know, real serious truckers, I think, with tailgating on the mine, it might be a necessity. Did I mention that the uh, seats, you have a 10-way uh, adjustable power seat available for the driver, four-way for the passenger, and there's also memory seating available? The Ridgeline's available in seven trim levels based upon your needs and budget. You have the RT, the RTS, the Sport Edition, the RTL, which stands for luxury, the RTLT, which stands for tech, the RTLE, which escapes me, E for escape, <laughs> and the uh, top of the line Black Edition, which is a monster machine. And they range anywhere from 30,000 to 43,000 plus, plus, plus. When you start to uh, add up the additional options that are available, you have, for example, your moonroof, of course. You even can get a sliding glass for the back glass there to add a little ventilation at the touch of a button. You have plenty of safety features. You have blind spot detection available, Honda Lane Watch options available with the camera in the passenger mirror, multi-angle rear view camera, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, uh, collision mitigation braking's also available as well as road departure mitigation vehicle stability assist, vehicle traction control, and one of my favorite features is the remote start button for the Ridgeline. Um, but I'm about lots, lots, and lots of tech. Now, I don't think you're gonna find very many of these parked at construction sites, though you may. I think you'll find a lot of them, though, parked in people's driveways, because they really are a versatile, multi-purpose machine. They're comfortable, they have a certain amount of uh, practicality to them, you can get all the tech you want, and you have the fun in the truck bed as far as hauling cargo, uh, blasting out music, or just tailgating to your heart's content. And I saw Honda. I think if you drive it, if you give it serious consideration, you'll seriously like it. Okay, for those diehard individuals that absolutely insist the truck is only a truck of its rear wheel drive, I think I have a solution. Simply turn around in your seat in the Ridgeline, put it in reverse, and drive backwards. Now you've got rear wheel drive, dude. Look at me, I got a rear wheel drive truck.
No, don't really do this. Uh, I'm just kidding, okay? It's a joke. With my luck, somebody would try it. Probably somebody already has. I'm stuck.